guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Maddie. I film a whole bunch of luxury related videos and I do throw in a couple of vlogs and get ready with me style videos. If any of those videos is your cup of tea, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below if you're new. And if you're not new, shout out to you, you're a real one. So today's video is very unexpected to say the least. I never thought I would be filming this video. I mean, I did think I was gonna film this video eventually, but I didn't think it was gonna happen anytime soon. I'm sure you can tell by the title. Today's video is an unboxing. It's a Louis Vuitton unboxing of the hardest bag to find in stores, online, everywhere. It's just so hard to find. So this bag, before I get into the unboxing, I'm so sorry, I do have to give a little backstory. So this bag, is on my wish list. So I, if if you um watch my wish list video that I did a couple of weeks ago, I definitely mentioned this bag, and I definitely wanted to get it. Now I knew I was gonna get it this year. I hoped I would get it this year, but I definitely didn't think I was gonna get it this soon. So what had happened was I have a Louis Vuitton web on uh, website. I have a Louis Vuitton account because you create one when you order through them, and there's like a heart shape button that you click to put stuff on your wish list. I have the bag that you know I'm unboxing today as well as several other bags and a couple of other um SLGs in my wish list just because you know I know eventually I'm gonna buy it. So if you shop on Louis Vuitton or if you know how it works, every time you click on your wish list it shows you all the items and it tells you whether you have to call for availability or if you can add it to bag. I ordered this bag on Sunday night and today's Thursday. I actually got this bag yesterday. I got it on Wednesday, which was yesterday, but I didn't have time to film because I had work and everything. And so I, I left it. Let me just say this is not a true unboxing. I've already opened it. I've already inspected the bag and everything, but I'll get to that. So on Sunday night, it was around, I want to say like 10 p.m. I was already like, I already washed my face. I had already like brushed my teeth, got myself ready for bed. I was laying in bed and my TV was on but I was also watching a YouTube video. I was watching someone do um, like a, it wasn't an unboxing or it wasn't a review. She bought the, um, it was a phone case, a Louis Vuitton phone case. I think it's called the, not the trunk, um, the folio. So yeah, she ordered the folio for her phone and she was just showing it. And I was like, oh, it looks cute. I was not planning to buy the folio. I wasn't planning to do anything. If you have a MacBook, um, your most frequently visited site is saved to like the tab or whatever so the Louis Vuitton link that showed up was this bag so I clicked on it and then I was getting ready to like go through you know search women's and then like small leather good or like phone or whatever so I could get to the folio and I saw that this bag was available I saw that it said add to bag and it wasn't it didn't say call for availability let me tell you I've been checking for this bag for a few months now I've liked it since last year since I got into this whole luxury thing and I'm like you know what I definitely want it but I was just like mm, I'll get it eventually like I'm not gonna stress myself about it my plan if you watch my wish list video was to go into the Louis Vuitton store and to build a relationship with an essay and then you know just leave my information down and be like oh you know I don't want to like if you have to put me on a wait list that's fine but like you know um whenever it's ready you know just call me if it's available call me and you know if the time works and I'll come get it that was my plan I haven't gone I haven't gone to a Louis Vuitton store to build a relationship with anyone um yeah so I was going to look for the folio and I saw that this bag was available you guys I have never <laughs> I have never in my life looked for my credit card and put in my credit card information to buy something so fast in my life I want to say between me looking and seeing that the bag was available and between me purchasing it was about 10 seconds. I'm not even kidding. So my, my credit card information is, well, my credit card number and my name is already saved on my laptop. All I have to do is put in the security code and the expiration date. And I have, I know that in the back of my head, I've never put in my credit card information so quick and I like bought an item so fast. But anyway, I feel like I've talked a little too much and you guys probably hate me by now because like I'm just rambling. But I had to give you guys that backstory. I wasn't even looking to buy this bag as soon as I bought it. The next Louis Vuitton bag that I wanted to purchase was the Ama BB. Like I've actually gone to the store, I've actually tried it out to see what it looks like on my body frame. And I was just like, you know what, that's probably going to be the next bag that I'm going to buy. Turns out that's not what happened. Anyway, so I have the box right here. 
this is not a true unboxing like I said as you can see the blue ribbons are not on it so if you haven't figured it out by now I mean it's in it's probably in the title anyway it's the pochette Matisse and I know there's been like let me show let me show the bag and then I'll I'll talk about all this stuff so this is the box it's the Louis Vuitton magnetic box you guys already know how these things work so here's the dust bag and here's the bag Ta-da! yo I cannot believe I have a pochette Matisse with me right now like it's just it's unbelievable like I knew I wanted to get it but I didn't think I was gonna get it that e not easy like I mean it's not like I was going hard to get the bag it was I just I added it to my wish list, obviously, on the site. And I just kept checking back and forth. Like, I've been checking every now and then on and off to see if it was available. And all the time, it says call for avail availability. The one time I wasn't even trying, I wasn't paying attention to this. And I didn't even go to check if it was available. It was actually available. Anyway, so here's the bag. I got it in um, the classic monogram. Um, not the reverse monogram. If you watch my wish list video, I did say I kind of, I think I said I wanted the reverse monogram, but then, you know, towards the end, I was like, whatever one's available, I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm not too picky about it. I'll take either one. But anyway, here's the bag. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to hold it like this as I talk. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it right here so you guys can see it as I talk so I know there's a whole lot of controversy or whatever when it comes to this bag first of all it's so hard to find and then second of all there's been like a whole bunch of videos about how defective it is you know there's issues with the s log I watched um I believe it was Shay Whitney I watched her unboxing and literally this the s lock and the whole buckle thing was wonky like it was literally sideways people have had glazing issues you know it's people of I think people have had like melting issues or something or how like something is cracked on this side or you know like they order it brand new and the s luck already comes with scratches listen i watched someone else's video where like there was something on the bottom it was like a white like i don't know if it was a piece of thread just a whole, like this bag has had a whole lot of issues with it which is why this is not a true unboxing the moment it came i was like listen this bag costs a pretty penny this is the most expensive bag i've ever purchased in my life i will be honest about that i'm not i'm really not balling like that like every purchase every designer purchase or luxury purchase i've made I planned like I planned for it I didn't just randomly walk into the store one day and be like oh I'm picking up this bag today that's not how my budget works that's not how my bank account is set up I have to save for it and every purchase I've made so far I bought it with my credit card because obviously I want to get the points but I have the money to pay for it immediately this on the other hand that's not the case I definitely bought this with my credit card just because like I said this is not the bag that I wanted to buy next and even the Alma BB I wasn't planning on buying it anytime soon like I was gonna purchase it maybe like in a month um, but there's just because this bag is so hard to find and the fact that it was available you know and I wasn't even I really wasn't checking for it at the time just the fact that it was available I picked it um, but yeah this bag cost a pretty penny, so the moment it came, I've watched just about every video, every Pochette Matisse video on YouTube, and you know, like I inspected this bag thoroughly because I'm like, if I'm spending that much money on a bag, it better be in pristine condition. Like, there better not even be the slightest mark or scratch on the buckle, on the canvas, or the pits. Like, it better be in amazing condition because, like I said, this bag cost a pretty penny. So the moment it came, I inspected it. I looked at everything and it seems to be fine. The canvas is fine. The buckle is great. It comes with the protective thing over it. I know some people's, some people um, ordered it and it didn't come with that. And I'm just like, how is that even possible? But it came with it. Um, the s look works fine. And um, here's the strap which also came with it. And then also, cause I feel like this bag is just in great condition. I looked at the date code and like, I'm not, I, 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 I never really understood like how that worked. I actually, re actually researched and I Googled it and the date code on this one is SD0119. So I believe that means it was made in the USA, which I don't care about. I'm not picky about where it's made. Um, and the 0119, I believe that means it was made in the first week in 2019. So this bag is brand spanking new for the most part. It's February 2019. So it was made, I'm going to say like a month ago. 
maybe a little maybe like six weeks ago because it's, it was made in the first week of 2018 so it's so it's so gorgeous it's so beautiful i think this is the perfect size bag just because it's big for a crossbody, I think it's big because every other crossbody is a little bit smaller. For a crossbody, I think it's big enough to fit your essentials and a little bit more. Um, I'll probably do a what's in my bag video and then I'll probably do... One thing I was looking for that I couldn't really find was like a lookbook or like how people style the pochette matisse. Not style the pochette matisse, but like what outfits they wear when they're carrying this bag. Because I feel like it could be very versatile. You can carry it casual and you can carry it like for dinner and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to do kind of like a lookbook with the pochette matisse. I've seen so many people on YouTube and I've seen so many people be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I got this bag. No, you guys don't actually, like you don't, I really cannot believe I have this bag because I didn't think I was going to be able to get it. Like, I know people have been on wait lists. I know people, you know, have done so, like, I, I, I just felt like I got this bag a little too easy. I'm not complaining. I'm very thankful for that. But anyway, let me stop. Let me do a close-up so you guys can see what the bag looks like. This is the bag. This is what the front looks like. It's like a little envelope-shaped bag, right? Yeah, it's like a little envelope-shaped bag. This is the front. Here's the buckle. What does it say? It just says Louis Vuitton Paris right there. And then it has the LV sign right there. Um, what else? So the patina or the, why do I keep calling it patina? So the vaquetta strap on the top, it says Louis Vuitton, let's see if it will focus. It says Louis Vuitton Paris. The zipper also has Louis Vuitton written on it. And then, you know, it has these um, D rings over here for the strap. I didn't put the strap on just because it's easier to hold up the bag without the strap on it, but it's so easy. This is how it looks. You just put that there, and the other one, you just hook that on the other side. So I already tried the bag on. Like I said, I've already put stuff inside. There's nothing inside right now. It has three compartments, so it has this first one right here, which fits a decent size. It has this middle compartment, which I believe is the biggest part, and then this little one right here. Oh. And then this little one right here, which doesn't fit too much. Um, and then it has this um, zipper place right here, or compartment right here. I'm just happy that nothing is wrong with this bag because, like I said, I've seen a whole lot of videos and people complain about, you know, the defects. You guys, I inspected this bag for like 20 minutes yesterday when I first got it. Just to be sure, like I said, it cost a pretty penny. I'm not trying to cough out that much money and then have a defective bag. I think... Even if you if you see something that bothers you, return it. Like, I know this bag is hard to find, but if you're spending that much money on a bag, it better be perfect. That's it for today's video. I hope it's not too long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Listen, if you're looking for a pochette matisse, like, just stay on it. Honestly, just stay on it. Like, add it to your wish list. Um, I know everyone says to, like, build a relationship with an essay. If you have a store close to you, do that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are as excited as I am that I own this bag. Probably not. You guys don't even care. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And um, also um, also hit the subscribe button if you, are, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. I can't even talk because I'm so excited to have this bag. But um, leave comments in the comment section down below as well. And um, I will catch you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye so i'm just gonna open that Ooh. Ooh. okay